Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus, our risen Lord, is our Good Shepherd, and He gathers us today in this Eucharist so that He may nourish us with His Word and He may feed us with His own body and blood. Jesus is our Good Shepherd, he will always keep us safe. He will always protect us. He will always guide us along the right path. In Jesus, our Good Shepherd, there is nothing else that we shall want. Today is also the World Day of Prayer for Vocations. We offer this Mass for vocations, especially to the priesthood, May many young men generously respond to the call of Jesus the Good Shepherd to shepherd the flock according to his heart, so that we may become less unworthy to celebrate these mysteries. Let us now humbly call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters to pray, pray for, for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. 
Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation, through anyone else, nor there's any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to save. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The stone rejected by the builders 
has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his kindness endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet, so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own, sees a wolf coming, and leaves the sheep and runs away, and the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, 
and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in our Gospel this Sunday, Jesus depicts himself as the Good Shepherd. Ipinakilala ni Jesus ang kanyang sarili bilang mabuting pastol. That is why the fourth Sunday of Easter is also called Good Shepherd Sunday because of this revelation by Jesus that He is our Good Shepherd. And by calling Himself as the Good Shepherd, Jesus implies that it is not automatic that a shepherd is always good. That there are also shepherds who are not good. Sa pagpapakilala ni Jesus sa kanyang sarili bilang mabuting pastol, ibig sabihin, hindi pala dahil pastol ay mabuti na. Meron din palang mga pastol na hindi mabuti mga masasamang pastol. And in our gospel today, Jesus differentiates a good shepherd from a bad shepherd. And where lies the difference between the two? In the concern for the sheep. And this concern for the sheep is rooted in the shepherd's relationship with the sheep. Doon mo makikita ang pagkakaiba ng mabuting pastol at ng masamang pastol. Yung malasakit sa kanyang mga tupa. At ang isang pastol ay nagkakaroon ng malasakit sa kanyang tupa kapag meron siyang ugnayan sa kanyang mga tupa. A bad shepherd simply would look at the sheep as animals, as objects of his work, as something for which he is paid. Ganyan ang tingin ng isang masamang pastol sa mga tupa. No? Mga hayop lang yan. At dahil dyan, kumikita ako Dahil sa kanila, sinusuelduhan ako. And because the shepherd who is bad looks at the sheep merely as animals, then I will not relate with them. I will not develop any relationship with the sheep. And because I have no relationship with the sheep, I will not have any concern for them. My only concern is my salary that I am being paid for because of my service to the sheep. Ang kanyang iniisip lamang ay yung kanyang kikitain, yung kanyang susuelduhin. Kaya ang isang masamang pastol ay isang bayaran. Binabayaran lamang siya. At ang mahalaga lamang sa kanya ay bayad. And because his concern is not the sheep but his own pay, then he will not risk his life for the sheep. Bakit ko itataya ang buhay ko sa mga tupa? Eh, mas mahalaga sa akin yung kita. 
pag namatay ako sa pag-aalaga ko sa mga tupa, ano pa ang kikitain ko? The bad shepherd will run away when danger comes and will leave the sheep to be devoured by wolves. The bad shepherd will not risk his life, will not lay down his life for the sheep. They are simply animals. They are simply objects of my work. But the Good Shepherd does not look at the sheep merely as animals. He looks at the sheep as if they were his own children. He looks at the sheep like his own. And so he will develop a relationship with each one of them. For a good shepherd, the sheep do not look alike. Kapag tiningnan ng isang mabuting pastol ang mga tupa, hindi niya tinitingnan dito bilang pare-pareho lang sila. Kilala niya ang bawat isa. Nakikita niya ang pagkakaiba ng itsura, ng gawi, ng pagkilos ng bawat isa. He relates to each one of them. And because he relates to each one of them, because each of the sheep is related to him, then he is concerned for each of them. May malasakit siya sa kanyang tupa. He knows them and He is willing to risk His life for them. Itataya niya ang kanyang sariling buhay para sa kanila. That is the Good Shepherd. He has concern for the sheep and this concern is rooted in His relationship with each one of them. My dear brothers and sisters, that is who Jesus is to us. Kaya si Jesus, mabuting pastol, kasi ganyan siya sa atin. According to the preaching of St. Peter in our first reading today, Jesus offered His life for us. He was crucified for us and God raised him from the dead for us and why did Jesus like a good shepherd lay down his life for us because of his relationship with us and what is that relationship Jesus looks at us as his own brothers and sisters because we are also children of His Father. St. John in our second reading today tells us, See what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Kaya pala may malasakit si Jesus sa atin. Kaya pala handang itaya ni Jesus ang kanyang buhay sa atin. Dahil ang tingin sa atin ni Jesus ay kanyang mga kapatid. Dahil tayo ay anak ng Ama sa langit. If God the Father looks at us merely as creatures, He would not have sent Jesus to us. If God the Father merely looks at us as one of the many creatures that He created, Jesus would not have risked His life for us. Kung tayo'y katulad lamang ng bato, ng halaman, ng bulaklak, ay eh hindi siguro tinaya ni Jesus ang kanyang buhay para sa atin. Pero dahil tayo'y anak ng Ama, dahil tayo'y kanyang mga kapatid, handa siyang ialay ang lahat para sa atin at patuloy siyang nagmamalasakit dahil tayo'y kanyang mga kapatid. 
a concern that is based in a relationship. My dear brothers and sisters, we can only have concern for each other if we look at each other as truly related to one another. If we look at each other as brothers and sisters. Kaya siguro nawawalan tayo ng malasakit sa isa't isa kasi hindi natin nakikita yung kaugnayan ko sa aking kapwa. When I look at another person simply as the other, no, ang tingin ko sa kanya ay ibang tao kaysa sa akin. Hindi ako magkakaroon ng malasakit sa kanya dahil wala akong ugnayan sa kanya. Iba ako, iba siya. But if we look at each other as related in God the Father, as brothers and sisters in Jesus, then we will also learn to have concern for one another. We would even be willing to put our lives at stake for our brothers and sisters. Kapag may kaugnayan sa'yo, handa mong gawin ang lahat. Kaya maraming mga magulang ang kayang tiisin ang lahat para sa kanilang pamilya. Maraming mga tao, mga magkakaibigan, na handang gawin ang lahat para sa kanilang kaibigan. Minsan nga lang sa masama. Dahil kaibigan ko, kahit masama, gagawin ko. If we see a relationship between us, then we will become good shepherds to each other. Sa mga mag-asawa, how do you look at each other? Pagkatapos ng mahabang taon, maraming taon ng pagsasama, do you merely look at each other as legal partners? To parents and to children, how do you look at each other? Ano ba ang tingin ng magulang sa kanilang mga anak? Ano ba ang tingin ng anak sa kanilang mga magulang? Baka ang tingin na natin sa isa't isa ay obligasyon, responsibilidad, or worse, burden. Employers, how do you look at your employees simply as business assets? Doctors and nurses, ano ang tingin nyo sa inyong mga pasyente? Medical specimens? Lawyers, ano ang tingin nyo sa inyong mga clients? As legal cases? Teachers, how do you look at your students? Simply as academic subjects, government officials, how do you look at your constituents? Simply as voters, ano kaya ang tingin natin sa isa't isa? Kapag nakikita natin araw-araw yung mga number of new cases, of those who tested positive because of COVID-19, do we simply look at them as statistics, as numbers, or do we see faces of persons, actual and living persons, behind those numbers? Sa mga taong nangangailangan ng tulong sa mga panahong ito, how do we look at them? Ang tingin lang ba natin sa kanila ay beneficiaries? No wonder we lack concern for each other because 
we see others as someone different from me. But if we change our perspective, if we look at each other as related to one another, if we look at each other as brothers and sisters, kapag ang tingin natin doon sa mga pumipila sa mga community pantries ay hindi lamang mga nangangailangan, kundi aking mga kapatid na nagugutom, kapag nak ang tingin natin doon sa mga may sakit, ay hindi lamang mga numbers, statistics, kundi aking kapatid na nahihirapan. Kapag ang tingin natin sa bawat isa ay hindi lamang individuals, kundi magkakapatid, then I tell you, concern will grow in our hearts and we will treat each other with affection and love. We will be good shepherds to one another. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, Good Shepherd Sunday is also the World Day of Prayer for Vocations. At sa araw na ito, ay hinihiling sa atin ng simbahan na manalangin para sa mga bukasyon, lalong-lalo na sa pagpapari. Manalangin po tayo, mga minamahal na kapatid, na marami sa ating mga kabataan ang tumugon sa paanyaya ni Jesus na ating mabuting pastol upang magpastol sa kanyang simbahan. At manalangin tayo na ang bawat pastol ay maging katulad ni Jesus, mabuting pastol. Hindi bayaran, hindi trabaho lang, kundi mga pastol na mabuti dahil nagmamalasakit para sa kawan ni Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is our Good Shepherd. Jesus, our risen Lord, is our Good Shepherd. And our Good Shepherd relates with each one of us in an intimate and personal way. He loves us because we are the children of His Father. He loves us because we are His brothers and sisters. That is why Jesus has concern for each one of us. May we also discover our relationship with one another. May we also see how we are connected to one another so that, like Jesus, we can also have concern, affection, and love for one another. Let us all together profess our faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, Christ His only Son, Son our Lord, Lord who, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Jesus is that good shepherd who lays down his life for his sheep. 
Let us pray to the Father, remembering the selfless love of His beloved Son. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, that he may continue to be a shepherd who guides us into the ways of righteousness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the un unity of all Christians, that there may only be one flock and one shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who live in loneliness, that may be welcomed and find friendship in the community of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For vocations to the priesthood, that Christ will raise up faithful shepherds for his flock. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have died, that they may see God as he really is. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us now pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the many people who need our prayers. Let us also pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. Most loving Father, our help and our salvation, accept the prayers of your children, the flock gathered in the name of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find the light in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, 
and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Santo, 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 Panginoong Diyos sa makapangyarihan, napukuno ang langit at lupa ng kalwalhatian mo. O sana, o sana, sa kaitaasan, o sana, o sana, sa kaitaasan, pinagpala ang kapaliritu sa ngala ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana, sa kaitaasan, o sana, o sana, sa kaitaasan. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed it is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by His love, and when, as one of the disciples, so now for us, He opens the Scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave you thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Si Cristo ay gunitain Sa hindi ay inihain Bilang pagkain inungin Pinagsasaluhan natin Hanggang sa siya'y dumating Hanggang sa siya'y dumating Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through this passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, 
in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis our Pope and Broderick our Administrator, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with St. Mark, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, alleluia. Purihin ang Diyos, purihin ang Diyos. Amen, alleluia. Amen, Amen, Amen. Amen, Alleluia. We are all children of the one loving Father in heaven. And so let us pray to Him according to the prayer Jesus, our brother and good shepherd, taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Sapagkat sa iyo ang kaharian, kapangyarihan at kapurian, kayoon at magpakailan. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Cordero ng Dios na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan, maawa ka. Behold Jesus, our risen Lord, and our Good Shepherd, is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikiisa sa ating pagdiriwang ngayong umaga ng linggong ito ng misang ito mula sa Manila Cathedral. 
We also thank our brothers and sisters who are joining us from other countries. Thank you for being part of the online community of the Manila Cathedral. And we also wish to thank the different social media platforms that are sharing this Mass. No, maraming salamat po sa inyong gawain ng evangelization and mission. Today is uh, the birthday of our Vice Rector, Father Khalil Yamado. And so I invite you to offer prayers for him, for good health, and especially for his fidelity to the ministry of being a shepherd to the flock. I also wish to ask you to pray for vocations, I have, as I have mentioned in my homily. Let us pray that many more young men may generous, generously respond to God's invitation to be a priest. And to the parents, please pray that one of your sons may become a priest. Minsan po kapag nagdadasal tayo for vocation, abstract yung dasal natin. No? Sana tawagin kung sino mang kabataan dyan. Let us be more concrete in our prayers. Gusto natin magpari yung iba, pero ayaw nating pagpariin yung ating anak, o yung ating apo, o yung ating kamag-anak. Let us pray for vocations, and let us open the possibility to our own sons, grandsons, to our own friends, that possibility of becoming a priest. Minsan po doon lang nagsisimula yon sa isang simpleng paanyaya na maging pari. Pag-isipan na baka tinatawag ka ng Diyos sa pagpapari. Nawa maraming tumugon sapagkat maraming mabuting pastol ang kailangan ng kawan ni Jesus. May God bless this new week. May God, Jesus, our Good Shepherd, always keep us safe. Always nourish us physically and spiritually. And may Jesus, our Good Shepherd, also teach us to be good shepherds to one another. Kitang-kita po natin yan very concretely ngayon sa mga tulong na inyong pinadadala, sa inyong suporta, lalong-lalo na po sa ating community pantry dito sa Intramuros. This is a very concrete way of being shepherds to one another. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by His blessings, now and forever. Amen. May He, by whose redeeming work, you have received the gift of everlasting freedom. Make you heirs to an eternal inheritance now and forever. Amen. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith by living in the right manner on this earth be united with Him in the homeland of heaven forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of the risen Lord. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi, Leitare, Alleluia, Quia, Quemeruisti portare, Alleluia, Resurrexit, Sigut Dixit, Alleluia, Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia.